Tonight on The Proof Is Out There, is this proof of a new secret weapon flying over Florida? Awesome! Is this proof of a legendary wailing woman in Mexico? When I realized that sound was coming from the sky, I really got scared. And is this fireball proof of, wait for it, a Chinese dragon? That suggests that something like a dragon flew over China and breathed fire. Around the globe are videos. What the heck is this? Photos and sounds that defy explanation. Is it some kind of unidentified object? A plane that was literally frozen in the air. What are they? Some sort of bizarre mutation. Extraordinary claims need extraordinary proof. I'm Tony Harris, and as a journalist for more than 30 years, I've followed the facts where they take me. Now I'm bringing that spirit of investigation to the world's strangest sounds and images. We'll analyze each one with top experts. It's a credible case, it's a credible video. And pass a verdict on what it is. This video was clearly faked. The proof starts now. Good evening and welcome to The Proof Is Out There. In a previous episode, we debunked this viral UFO video out of Miami as a fake, in part because there was only one witness. What the f is that? Holy Now we look to the Florida skies again. This time, we have lots of witnesses. And thankfully, one was a loyal viewer who sent us his own video. February 9th, 2021, Southern Florida. Stuart Eck is on the road when a flash of light makes him pull over. It's not the police, it's this. Oh my goodness. Awesome, it's sunrise. A large white plume unfurls across the sky, growing larger and larger. He's not frightened, but he is amazed. You see the shockwave go out? Oh, wow, awesome! I looked over and uh, it was a giant flame in the sky. Take another look. As the light passes over Stewart, it leaves behind a massive trail. It ballooned out like it was exploding or something very different was going on. And it was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. Not everyone Stewart talked to was as smitten with the object. Unbelievable. It scared a lot of people to death thinking it was some type of, of weapon coming in from outer space. Florida is a UFO hotspot. It's actually second only to California. There have been 7,000 sightings of UFOs in Florida since 1998. But UFOs are consistently reported to fly without leaving visible exhaust or contrails. And there's another theory, a very human, high-tech weapon reported to leave a distinctive exhaust trail. The Chinese military already claims to have developed something called a hypersonic missile. As the name suggests, it travels at five times the speed of sound at low altitude. That's a game changer because such a weapon could make it from the human missile silos in central China to Washington, D.C., evading radar and existing air defense systems until it is already well over U.S. airspace. And American nuclear submarines reportedly now have their own hypersonic missile, dubbed the Sea Dragon. So that might be what Stuart witnessed. Another theory? This is some new rocket being developed by a space entrepreneur like Elon Musk. Notice how both this 2017 SpaceX launch and the one in Stewart's video have glowing contrails due to an effect you may have seen in an earlier episode about a suspected Chinese rocket. While it's dark on the ground, the rocket and its contrails are high up enough to be illuminated by the sun, even though it's over the horizon. But exactly what sort of rocket, missile, or other craft could be creating the huge exhaust trail in Stewart's video is a mystery. SpaceX's Falcon 9 has become the most flown operational U.S. rocket, reaching orbit 24 times in 2020. So could this be another Elon Musk venture, or is there something else more troubling going on? First, astronomer and video effects designer Mark D'Antonio considers if this could be a jet going supersonic. When a jet approaches the sound barrier, you'll see a condensation front along the front of the jet. In moist air, a speeding plane creates low pressure areas where water condenses in a vapor cone. As the plane speeds up, the cloud moves down the body. 
and when the plane breaks through the sound barrier, it outraces the water droplets and the cone disappears. What we're seeing here, though, is a continuous plume that's persistent. So this is definitely not a supersonic jet. Our aviation expert, Tim McMillan, thinks he can narrow it down further. That teardrop shape and, and that contrail there, that is characteristic of uh, you know, some type of rocket or potentially a, a missile test. But when McMillan checks the SpaceX launch schedule, he rules out any Elon Musk-related UFOs. So could this be a new weapon system, like the Sea Dragon? The U.S. is just now kind of getting into the hypersonics game and, and trying to develop more operational hypersonic platforms. When D'Antonio digs deeper, he finds the U.S. military had tested submarine-launched missiles in the area that day. But the military won't say what exactly was launched. If it was a missile test of some kind, it's probably a missile that they don't want you to know about. Despite the strange appearance, we're calling this one a rocket or missile launch. But what rocket or missile, we may never know. What's clear is that the U.S. is in a race to develop unstoppable hypersonic missiles. So we may be witnessing one of the very first tests. We've examined the phenomenon known as sky quakes before. Unidentified sounds often described as mystery booms. They've been reported all over the world. But the sound you're about to hear, though just as mysterious, is less of a sky quake and more of a sky moan. Listen up. February 2015. At first glance, it looks like a totally overcast day in the Huevo Laredo, Mexico. But turn up the volume, and it sounds like anything but. Musician Axel Samano is visiting a friend when she notices the eerie atmospheric noises and aims her lens to search for the source, but with no luck. The sound resembles a metallic moaning of some sort. It lasts for approximately eight seconds and reaches a slight crescendo halfway through, almost as if something is crying out in pain. The sound was like metal bending. When I realized that sound was coming from the sky, I really got scared because I, I didn't know what it was. Catholic miracle researcher Michael O'Neill reminds us that strange sounds from the sky are often read as signs of pending apocalypse. But so far, the world hasn't ended. Throughout human history, there have been these reports of booming sounds or large screeching sounds or this moaning sound as we hear in Mexico. This is nothing new. People have experienced and reported this in countries all over the world for centuries. Others wonder if this mysterious sound could be somehow tied to the legend of La Llorona or the weeping woman. For centuries, Mexican children have been raised to fear the wailing woman whose spirit is trapped on Earth, mourning two children she drowned in a fit of jealous rage. There have even been reports of strange encounters with La Llorona amongst Spanish speakers all over the world. Some of the strange sounds we've investigated before could be explained. This one turned out to be squeaky truck brakes. And this was a guy in Jersey with a homemade air cannon. So does this moaning noise above Nuevo Laredo have a common sense explanation, or will it remain an unexplained mystery? Let's listen to our experts. First, we bring the video to Professor of Atmospheric Sciences, Dr. Deanna Hens, to determine if the sound could be an aeolian tone, which is the sound produced by a strong wind as it passes over or through a fixed object. This singing, ringing tree sculpture in Lancashire, England was designed with this concept in mind. I had some questions as to whether or not this could be the wind interacting with a particular structure or something nearby that would result in this particular sound. But the wind speeds were not very high, about 15 miles per hour. So unless that wind happened to be hitting the resonant harmonic frequency of, a, of an object that would cause that to happen, that doesn't really explain what's going on very readily either. Meteorology doesn't seem to hold the answer here, so we bring the footage to our soundscape ecologist, Dr. Ben Gottesman. 
When I heard this mysterious Mexican moan sound, I went digging and came across this one from Allen, Texas from 2012. When Dr. Gottesman compares the recordings, the similarity to the mysterious sound that caused the sensation in Texas three years earlier is undeniable. Here's our sound. As you see, five events. Now let's look at this other video captured in Texas. Again, we see these five events exactly the same, which leads me to believe that there's some sort of editing going on here. And so we can say that it's likely that whoever made this video used the audio in the Allen Texas video. So our verdict, Based on Dr. Gottesman's analysis, we're calling this a hoax. This is most likely just a pre-recorded sound found by somebody on the internet and repurposed to create an online sensation. The moaning has less to do with a cry for help and more to do with a cry for attention. Some of our most interesting and mysterious stories have come from China, where secrecy is a national pastime. This next video is intriguing in two ways and it presents a pair of riddles that may or may not be connected. August 2020, it's rush hour on a stormy day in Xinjiang City in Northeast China. A motorist has his camera focused on a large residential building that is under construction. Suddenly, we see something flying into the frame, towards and then behind the building. Suddenly, the building is engulfed in a massive fireball. Let's see that again. The object appears to be a huge flying creature of some sort. As the flash recedes, we see the flying object continue its path away from the building, which amazingly remains intact. Once the video goes viral, it sparks wild internet speculation about fire-breathing dragons. When we're faced with a video that suggests that something like a dragon flew over China and breathed fire, so many people are willing to jump on that bandwagon. That says a lot about human beings, both good and bad. Modern-day encounters with what some feel are flying dinosaurs like the pterosaur, which boasted a 30-foot wingspan, are not uncommon in some parts of the world. I've interviewed dozens of eyewitnesses who swear that they've seen these living pterosaur creatures flying around in modern times. In Papua New Guinea, they're known as the Ropin. The Ropin, also known as the Demon Flyer, is said to be a monstrous creature that's terrified the natives of Papua New Guinea, which is further south on the Pacific Rim than China. In 1986, a man was even said to have been killed by a ropin and eaten in front of his fellow villagers. While it seems highly improbable that these animals could still be around, uh, there are many sightings and accounts, and I, I think we can't totally rule out the possibility. But even if we entertain the notion that this could be a relic pterosaur, that wouldn't explain the massive explosion. Some internet sleuths put forward another theory involving secret Chinese laser weapons. As recently as July of 2021, a research team in Shanghai announced they had achieved a technological breakthrough that will allow them to build the most powerful laser on the planet. Remember, we have two questions to answer here. Not only what caused that big flash, but what was that thing we see in the air? And just so you know, we tried tracking down whoever shot the video with no luck, which is always reason to ask if the footage is even real. So, our experts have plenty to sort out. Let's get to it. Our wildlife biologist, Dr. Stephanie Shuttler, considers whether or not the flying dino theory has wings. It doesn't seem to be actively flying. It seems to be gliding. We don't really see any movement of the wings at all. Dr. Shuttler also notices another key detail when she zooms in on the image. It doesn't seem to have like a center body shape at all. So I don't think it's an animal of any sort. It could be like a piece of tarp or a very big piece of plastic or something like that floating in the wind. So the flying object is confounding us so far, but what about the flash? Maybe it's separate from the object. Our military expert, Tim McMillan, addresses the theory that it's from a space-based laser, maybe a test. Some of the challenges that any type of laser is going to face is atmospheric refraction. In this video, we see rain, we see haze, fog. All of that is going to greatly reduce any energy any type of laser is going to have. And so you're not going to get an explosion from a laser. So I can say we're not looking at a laser weapon here. 
Interesting fact, it was just announced that the U.S. is developing a laser weapon to shoot down the new Chinese hypersonic missiles we mentioned earlier. But that would be used in space, where atmospheric refraction isn't a factor. So it all comes down to video forensic expert Michael Primo. He notices that the flying object seems to have passed the building before the fireball. Based on this flight path alone, it does not appear that this object created or caused this explosion in this way. Primo also finds a telltale sign that the video may have been doctored. At frame 8,740, there is a white flash that occurs across the whole screen right before the alleged explosion. So this appears to be a spot where whoever created this recording intentionally avoided the opportunity to see an edit to deceive the viewer. After further analysis, we also uncovered a report released by Chinese state media that cites the cause of the massive fireball as a random bolt of lightning striking a high voltage power line near an unfinished residential compound. So we know what caused the flash. It was lightning striking nearby power lines. That doesn't explain what was flying around before the lightning strike. But thanks to our ace forensic video expert, we're confident declaring that part of the video a pyanju. That's Chinese for hoax. We all know ships are built to float on the water, but what happens when rather than sailing on the sea's surface, they seem to float above the water in midair? It's March 2020 in the English port town of Falmouth. A local property developer is taking a late winter's walk with his dog near the coastal cliffs. He's watching the ships pass by when something catches his eye that demands documentation. He saw this large ship here, not exactly floating on the water, but above it. And this is not the only hovering ship caught on camera off the southern coast of England. A video from May 2021 shows a large container ship floating above the water surface near the town of Kent. As anomalous as these images appear, there's a long tradition of floating ships that goes back to the 9th century. One intriguing story from a Spanish-born priest serving in Lyon, France, involves a group of sailors from a realm called Magonia. According to legend, the Magonians had developed the ability to use magic and witchcraft to make their boats float through air instead of on water. There are these mystery boats that float through the air and during lightning and thunderstorms come down and wreak havoc upon the countryside, stealing grain and wheat from people's fields. Then in the 1960s, famed French astronomer and UFO researcher Jacques Vallée gave this theory a modern twist in his book, Passport to Magonia, from folklore to flying saucers. And in it, he describes that this could have been something interdimensional or even a parallel dimension fasting space and time. Vallée's theory is that the legendary flying Magonian ships of the 9th century are connected to the more recent UFO sightings of the 1950s and 60s. Evidence, he claimed, that time-traveling aliens have visited the planet for centuries. That's all fascinating, but before we stamp our passport to Magonia, let's figure out what this particular floating ship represents. A true mystery, or just a fascinating trick of the eye? First, you know we have to ask, could this photo have been doctored? I see no signs of artifacts or doctoring. So that tells me that what we're looking at is authentic and was actually captured in camera. And by checking the ship tracking sites, photography expert Andrew McCarthy is actually able to determine that these ships are very much of this dimension. We know that it was a Norwegian tanker ship called the Mary Bell, which suggests to me that what we're looking at is not a levitating ship, but something else at play. So if it's a real ship under sail, then what's causing this strange effect? At a certain distance, you're no longer really looking at the ocean because the air is reflecting the sky back towards you. That's why the horizon actually drops in this image. In other words, that's not really the sky. It's the reflection of the sky off the water in the far distance. We see the same effect in the video from Kent. It's actually what's called a false horizon. The surface of the water, as you get further out, is a bit calmer out here than it is back here because it's calmer and flatter, it's reflecting things uh, more evenly. You just get a more even reflection of the sky. You can see this line looks like the horizon, but on a 2D plane, it's actually up here. That's because all of the water in the area is the same color as the sky it's reflecting and blending into.
Our verdict, this is simply an optical illusion. This is just the sky reflecting off the water. But it makes you wonder, were similar odd sights centuries ago what gave rise to the legend of Magonia? That's our show for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. And a reminder to all of you, including the Magonians out there, keep those cameras rolling.